बिस्मिल्लाम रबिश राहली सदरी व यसली अमरे वाहलुलगता में लसानी यफका हु कौली असलम टुडे वी विल डू सेक्शन 2.3 एनालिसिस मॉडल पार्टिकल अंडर कांस्टेंट वेलोसिटी फ्रॉम द बुक फिजिक्स फॉर साइंटिस्ट एंड इंजीनियर्स विद मॉडर्न फिजिक्स बाय सर्वे एंड जुएट टेंथ एडिशन In section 1.2 we discuss the importance of making models as mentioned there a particularly important model used in the solution to physics problem is an analysis model An analysis model is a common situation that occur time and again when solving physics problem because it represents a common situation it also represent common type of problem that we have solved before When you identify an analysis model in a new problem the solution to the new problem can be modeled after that of a previously solved problem analysis model help us recognize those common situation and guide us toward the solution to the problem the form that an analysis model takes is a description of either one the behavior of some physical entity or two the interaction between that entity and the environment when you encounter a new problem you should identify the fundamental details of the problem ignore details that are not important and attempt to recognize which of the situations you have already seen that might be used as a model for the new problem for example Suppose an automobile is moving along a straight freeway at a constant speed. Is it important that it is an automobile? Is it important that it is a freeway? If the answer to both the questions are no but the car moves in straight line at constant speed we model the automobile as a particle under constant velocity which we will discuss in this section once the problem has been modeled it is no longer about an automobile it is about a particle undergoing a certain type of motion a motion that we have studied before This method is somewhat similar to the common practice in legal profession of finding legal precedents. If a previously resolved case can be found that is very similar legally to the current one, it is used as a model and an argument is made in court to link them logically. The finding in the previous case can then be used to sway the finding in the current case. We will do something similar in physics. For a given problem, we search for physics precedent, a model with which we are already familiar and that can be applied to the current problem. All of the analysis model that we will develop are based on four fundamental simplification models. The first of the four is the particle model discussed in the introduction of this chapter. We will look at the particle under various behavior and environmental interaction. Further analysis model introduced in the later chapter based on the simplification models of a system, a rigid object, and a wave. Once we have introduced these analysis model, we shall see that they appear again and again in different problem situations. When solving a problem you should avoid browsing through the chapter looking for the equation that contains the unknown variable that is requested in the problem In many cases the equations you find may have nothing to do with the problem you are attempting to solve It is much better to take the first step identify the analysis model that is appropriate for the problem 
To do so, think carefully about what is going on in the problem and match it to the situation you have seen before. Once the analysis model is identified, there are a small number of equations from which to choose that are appropriate for that model and sometimes only one equation. Therefore, the model tells you which equation to use for the mathematical representation. Let us use equation 2.2 to build our first analysis model for solving problems. We imagine a particle moving with a constant velocity. The model of a particle and a constant velocity can be applied in any situation in which an entity that can be modeled as a particle is moving with constant velocity. This situation occurs frequently, so the model is important. If the velocity of a particle is constant, its instantaneous velocity at any instant during the time interval is the same as the average velocity over the interval. That is, Vx is equal to Vx average. Therefore, substituting Vx for Vx average in equation 2.2 gives us an equation to be used in mathematical representation of the situation. Vx is equal to delta x over delta t. Remembering that delta x is equal to xf minus xi, we see that Vx is equal to xf minus xi divided by delta t. Or by rearranging the equation, we get xf is equal to xi plus Vx delta t. This equation tells us that the position of the particle is given by the sum of its original position xi at time t is equal to 0 plus the displacement vx delta t that occur during the time interval delta t. In practice, we usually choose the time at the beginning of the interval to be ti is equal to 0 and the time at the end of the interval to be tf is equal to t. So our equation becomes xf is equal to xi plus vxt for constant vx. Equation 2.6 and 2.7 are the primary equations used in the model of a particle under constant velocity. Whenever you have identified the analysis model in a problem to be a particle under constant velocity, you can immediately turn to these equations. Figure 2.5 is a graphical representation of a particle under constant velocity. On this position time graph, the slope of the line representing the motion is constant and is equal to the magnitude of the velocity. Equation 2.7, which is the equation of a straight line, is a mathematical representation of the particle and a constant velocity model. The slope of the straight line is Vx and the y-intercept is Xi in both representations. Figure 2.5 position time graph for a particle and a constant velocity. The value of the constant velocity is the slope of the line. Simply revising what we have learned, xf which is the final displacement is equal to xi plus vxt, xi is the initial displacement and vxt is the displacement during the time interval t if vx is constant, therefore xf is equal to xi plus vxt. If we look at the graph, we see that the slope of the graph is equal to constant velocity which is equal to Vx 
and the y intercept will give us the xi which was the initial displacement may allah bless us all thank you for watching allah peace